this question came up today, and it's one that has come up regularly, and that is, when you're getting a list of items from a REST API, should those items be IDs, URLs, or the full set of data for those items? If you look online, you'll see conflicting opinions on this matter. I will tell you right now, the best answer lies in your user's expectations and workflow. Let's say you're building an API for a shopping list application. The basic requirements would be to display a list of items you've added to your list, the ability to find additional items to add to the list, and remove them accordingly. Taking the three methods mentioned earlier, retrieving a list of IDs by itself isn't especially useful. Displaying a list of URLs could work, but that creates more work for the user as they're out there picking up items to put in their cart. Pulling back the full data for each item is useful, but excessive. The person would be standing there for a good while longer, waiting for the server to put together all that information and return it to their device. A common way of fixing the first two is creating a second separate request to the server for each item and load them in individually. This might work for a small list of less than 10 items, for example, but it reaches absurdity when you get into the tens or hundreds of items. HTTP requests are cheap, yes, but not that cheap. There is a limitation on the number of concurrent requests a browser can handle, further dampened by the bandwidth available to the user. When you hit that cap, your additional requests are queued and increases the perceived slowness of the page by an enormous amount. What I consider the right way to solve this problem is to join the necessary amount of information in the initial request. Going back to our shopping list, what do you think is useful to the user as they're walking down the, the aisles? The name, of course, a few pieces of metadata about the item like the brand, the quantity, is it in a can, glass jar, a photo of a product if you have it. You don't really need everything about that product being included. For the other part of the requirements, finding and adding items to the list, there have been some discussion about whether you should pull down the entire stock and load it client-side so you can do some fancy client-side filtering usually provided by a front-end framework. To that, I say, understand your users. Do you expect them to have enough bandwidth and a BB enough phone to support such a thing? If they do, the more power to you. I do not make that assumption myself. When would I pull down stuff and store it client side? I look at access needs and update frequencies. If I'm working on an application where the user is expected to keep working in the face of intermittent bandwidth, such as on the train or in places where they would not have it at all, like in the back of a warehouse doing inventorying. 
if they need to queue up work in the application to send to the server once the connection is established, then that's a perfect opportunity. I may also cache information with the slow update cycle, like aggregate reports updated once a day. For simple searches, like our shopping list application, pull back a list of results with enough information for someone to decide on adding an item. What about type ahead or predictions? You could pull down the information and save it locally, but I'd rather use what I call dynamic type delay. There will be a video diving into the details of that, but at the high level, you measure the amount of time between individual keystrokes and adjust how often you query the server for information based on that. There's a minimum and a maximum minimum to avoid eating up all the bandwidth on your server by fast typers or bad actors. Maximum to avoid waiting too long if the person gets distracted in the middle of typing and resumes several minutes later. This approach adjusts the snappiness of the prediction based on the user's habit, making it feel right for them. Two more things you may also want to consider when implementing this. The first, being able to add multiple items to the list at once, rather than rerunning the search after each. The second, allowing users to open search result links in a new tab to check the details of that item and return without losing their search results thus far. To recap, when you're pulling a list of items from a REST API, you should include the bare minimum amount of useful information to fit your user's workflow all in one request. Evaluate their process and tailor the solution to their expectations and what they can work with. I love getting questions like these. And if you have one, ask away. Until next time.